Hey guys, watching Volgor's videos. Today I got another beer review. Beer to review. Heineken. Brewed in Holland. Trademark. Medilla de Petit. Grand Prix. Paris. 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 Whatever. 1889. So apparently it's been around for a while. Horace Conserius. Membre du Jury. Paris. 1900. Premium quality. Brewed with. Passion for quality. Yeah. Um, White Plains, New York. That's where it's brewed. Um, nothing else to say on the back side. Amsterdam, Holland. Official Amsterdam beer. Which I didn't really realize that. There's something moving back there. Anyways, okay, Beer Advocate. Uh, yes, this beer doesn't really get very good ratings. 64 out of 100, poor, and the bros get a 69, poor, and the rear average is 2.71. Uh, Euro Parallel Lager, which is a 5% ABV. Uh, you can also get it in many of the styles. I'm not going to read that. I don't know why I read that. All right, and the first review I'm, I scrolled on to on the... Re reviews is a four out of five, so maybe it's better than I thought it is. But anyways, I'm thirsty. I had this old uh, peanut butter, chocolate peanut butter bar that uh, was in my dad's truck, and I was hungry, so I opened it up, and uh, it said October 13th. So it doesn't seem that it's not that old. It doesn't have mold or anything on it. Crack it open, and then my throat's starting to get sore. I don't know why. It's annoying. I don't want to get a sore throat. Anyways, here's my, my glass. I've showed it before, and I've been using it a long time. It's it's kind of a smaller glass, but whatever. I like how it's, you know, kind of round like a ball. And it looks like a soccer ball. Soccer, not football. Soccer. All right, Heineken. Oh, that smell. That smell. I haven't. It's been a while since. Whoa, it's foaming up. It's been a while since I've smelled that Heineken smell, but once you smell it, you know exactly what it is. Alright, so here we go. I poured it straight down for a big foamy head, because that's the purpose of this glass. Um, very pale, very very see-through, light beer. I mean, it's very, very clear for a 5%. I mean, actually, I think, I could be full of shit right now, but I think Budweiser has more uh, color to it. Not, well, color, I mean darker. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. Um, I know uh, Bush is about as clear as this. Maybe a little bit clearer. Anyways, uh, smell. Yeah, the corn. If it's not corn, because I've been told it doesn't have adjuncts in it, but I don't know. It, it smells like it. Um, maybe it's rice. I can't, I don't know, but it, it's that Heineken. And I think those Zeckies and Steinlager, which that one was the worst. That one had the, the worst of, the, of that smell to it and that taste. Very uh, ripe, very, I don't know how to explain it, but if you crack open a Heineken, I, it, I don't know, like, Rolling Rock kind of has that, but it's very weak. It's also 4.3% ABV. Anyways, enough ramble, let's taste this. It's it's okay. I mean, actually, when I drank it, it almost it almost tastes like water. It was so clear, or so so thin. But it is a five percent. You know, if I was drinking a Budweiser, however, Budweiser is a hell of a lot cheaper. A Budweiser, I think, for the uh, same price, you could get a forty, or maybe a, maybe a dollar more. You know, give or take. I'm not saying Budweiser is great. I'm just saying, you know, you gotta. This is more expensive, but it doesn't really taste like it should be that expensive, in my opinion. Um, 
Yeah. It tastes a little... It's been a while since I had Dozeki's. I, and when I had plain Dozeki's, it... Uh, I didn't have a whole can of myself. I think I, I sh had a couple sips off my buddy's can. And I think I think they're about the same, but this ha but I think Dozeki's had less of that skunky. No, it's not, I wouldn't say skunky, but well, maybe maybe that's what it is. That that the only word I can use to describe it is just green, because every beer except for Rolling Rock. I've come across that has a green bottle. Um, tastes very similar. It's very, very thin, very clean, very easy to put down. Um, I mean, if th this would be really good if it was a lot cheaper, because I mean, it tastes like a light beer. It tastes. And drinks like a light beer, but it's five percent. So I can see the appeal to this. I mean, you just want something to drink, and you don't really want to have much of anything to, to taste or to linger or get in the way. Then I can see I can see why people get this. Um. I think when I drink it straight from the bottle, I get more of that skunky, I don't know, more not skunky, or corn. Let's see if I can get my phone up. And What are the ingredients? Um, new tab. But, yeah, I think for this beer, I'd give it... See, it's two. It's two ninety nine for twenty two ounce. I don't know. I think I'm gonna give it a a seven point two. I mean, I well seven point three. Miller Fortune. That's expensive. That doesn't even come in twenty two ounces or anything single serve that I've seen. A lot of stores don't even have it yet. But uh, if you get a if you get a four pack of cans, six ounce cans, it's uh, five seventy nine for four tall cans. Oh no, it was, maybe it was six seventy nine. Yeah, I think it was six seventy nine. Or if you get uh, uh, six bottles, fortune, then it was seven twenty nine. Uh, I think it came out to a buck fifty a bottle. So buck fifty, buck fifty, two. That would be. I think this would be more expensive still, but I suck at math, so whatever. Um, but Miller Fortune is six point nine percent. They they almost seem similar. I mean, th this is no gimmick, but it's expensive like a gimmick. That's my problem with Heineken. It's just too expensive. I don't. I don't give in to, to beers just because they're they're expensive. I mean, if it's something like... Uh, I don't even know. I, I, there's not even any expensive beers I even like. I mean, if there's an expensive beer, I want to be able to have it in a single serve bottle. And if it's really good, like if it's a pale ale or something, if it's got like higher than 5%, then I can see that. But uh Two ninety nine for twenty two ounce. It's not horrible, but for something that's just it's just kind of plain and clean and thin, and it for, to me it tastes like a light beer. Um, I think it should be cheaper. So yeah, I think. Well. Yeah, seven point. Three seven point, you know seven point something a low uh, a low seven. If it was if it was like a two if it was like a three dollars for a, a three two ounce, that'd be a lot better. Then I would like I'd like it a lot more because my my favorite Mexican beer is Carta Blanca, and that's uh, two ninety nine for a quart. Okay, that's a 
same price as this, but bigger. And it tastes, I think it tastes better. You know, it's it's a little more carbonated, which doesn't bother me. It's, it's just, it's not too carbonated. It's just right. It's good. Give it a fizzle in the mouth. And it almost tastes not the same, but it's just a similar thinness. And it's cheaper, and it's a bigger amount. Yeah. But well, anyways, I really like this glass. Look at that. You can see the foam from the underside. How cool is that? Can you see it? I think I can. Anyways. So yeah, I ranted. I ranted. About Heineken, how it's overpriced and it doesn't really taste as good as the price uh, says. I mean, it's not bad. It's, it's Heineken reminds me of Seven Up. If this was as cheap as Seven Up, I'd love it. It'd be great. But when it's it's so expensive, like I'd rather drink a Bush, you know, or I, I, I w well, I wouldn't rather drink a Bush. That's that's I'd rather buy a Bush, but that's not true either. I'd rather I'd rather buy an Ice House. How about that? An Ice House is 5.5. It's just as crisp and refreshing, and you can buy six tall cans, well, 16 ounces, for 5.50. Um, Heineken. Hein e Heineken ingredient ingredients. Heineken's brewed using nat a natural brewing process with no additives. It contains water, barley, malt, hops, and a unique Heineken A yeast for fer fermentation in the brewing process. Hmm. Really? That's funny. Oh, that's right. Never mind uh, Bush. I'd rather I'd rather buy Rolling Rock. Rolling Rock maybe not, may not taste as um uh. Consistent as as good as consistently good as this, but it's a hell of a lot cheaper. I've never seen a, a bottle, a tall, big bottle of of, of Rolling Rock before, but you could buy a, a 18 pack of cans. I think it's 18 pack for 10 bucks, or a six six tall cans for what 550 or 650? No, but same same price as Ice House, and. Yeah, it might be. It might not be quite as good in that distinct Heineken taste, but it's way cheaper. And qu uh, qu some people say quality over quantity, but you have to have the quality to be to match the quantity part. Yeah, I don't know. And I know there's a lot of people that love Heineken. There's a lot of people out there that just, I don't know about if that's all they drink, but a lot of people that, you know, like, love, you know, they'll drink it. Like my buddy, he he, he drinks Dos Equis, and I'm like, how much was that 24-ounce can? Oh, it was, what, was that 279 for a can? It was, no, it was two, 220 or two, 230, two, 240, something like that, at a grocery outlet. I'm like, oh, okay, well, still, that's a lot of money just for a tall can of beer. I mean, what do you do? Um, and at the same time, a, a Rolling Rock, not Rolling Rock, a, a Colt 45 or Still Reserve or uh, what else is there? There's a couple other beers they have there for, like, the same price, uh, around a buck forty to a dollar dollar fifty like the same basically the same price and I'd rather drink any of those I'd rather pay for any of those you know I'd rather I'd rather buy a silver reserve over Dozeki's and I'm pretty sure Dozeki's taste is pretty much the same as Heineken maybe maybe is not as much as that um, that s significant yeast twang to it or whatever you want to call it but yeah I don't understand the point I mean a whopping 
It's like almost a dollar more for a beer. Um, and it's not even like it has. It's not even like it has a lot of flavors on IPA. It's not a um, a blonde or you know. It's not anything specifically fancy or unique. It's just a beer. Yeah, but one of these days I'm gonna get one and 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 try it on my video series and compare it to Heineken and compare it to everything else. And uh, yeah, and. I need some one of these days. I need to make an actual website. If it, if it's at least just a, a picture on Facebook that says the beers I have done with the with the numbers something. Anyways, yeah, I ramble too long. Um, Heineken. What can I say about Heineken? You know, this video's gone way too long. I I, I always say I need to stop making my videos so long. I always fuck up and make it long. Um, Heineken. It's it's a reliable good beer, but it's expensive. That's what I could say. It's a reliable, good beer, but it's just expensive. I mean, imagine if 7-Up, which I'm looking at a box of 7-Up behind the table. Imagine if 7-Up was, was expensive like uh, Red Bull, or not, yeah, Red Bull, or Monster. You know how those energy drinks are expensive? How many people would buy, whatever, that's not true, because a lot of people, this is very successful beer. People give in to its... Um, marketing and it's, it's price point I just don't I don't I just don't I just I'm just not a sucker or I don't I don't get it I don't understand why it's so expensive and people will drink so much of it it's not bad it's better than than uh, Sol 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 had that and it, it looked decent but it, it's kinda blah uh, anyways so yeah 7.3 it's it's okay just if you if somebody's actually looking at looking at my review for my opinion and you think if you should go out of your way and, and buy a bunch of this or buy buy some for yourself buy it t try it out see how you like it but it's, there's a lot of cheaper better there's a lot of cheaper beers that I'd rather put up with the, the flavor of that beer than to spend more and get this okay I don't know how how many, how many more times I can say it again but I'm done Thanks for watching. See you next time.